CataractCoach.com. Time for interesting eye well calculation cases. Today we're looking at a patient who has this initial screening. Let's look carefully. Here's the right eye on the top. Has a refraction somewhere around plus one, minus one. You can see there is some astigmatism here. K values, a little on this average to steep side, 45, one word in 44-ish and the other. Why is the astigmatism so small? Why is that bow tie so central only, not in the periphery? Hmm. Let's look at the other eye. Other eye was more hyperopic, plus three-ish, minus 150. Pretty consistent there. And again, astigmatism in the cornea. This, this eye has flatter corneas. And again, that small central little bow tie only. Why is that? Now, importantly, look where the bow tie is, and that round ring is the pupil. So certainly there's astigmatism that's significant in the pupil, left eye, and in the right eye. So we gotta treat that astigmatism. So let's look at the lens calcs. When I look at the lens calculations here, this is the biometry. The axial length in both eyes is almost the same, 23 and one, 22.9 in the other, we'll take that. But look where the machine warns you gives you a warning saying that why is there a difference between the two eyes here? This right eye has steeper corneas, and the left eye has flatter corneas. And you see some astigmatic measurements as well. Well, when we talk to the patient, the patient says, Doctor, oh, did I tell you? I had some LASIK done, some hyperopic LASIK in a monovision arrangement. So when I look at the lens calc page, we're not gonna use it, but just to show you, I wrote H LASIK, hyperopic LASIK, and we crossed all that off. We're not gonna use this. But even here, you can see there is an anisometropia in the Iowa calculations. Obviously, this is for both eyes set to plana without taking into account the effect of LASIK. So we're trying to do some lens calculations for this patient. So let's first look here at the tomography for the same patient. Let's look at the left eye. We're gonna do everything left eye first. And here you see there's that same astigmatism. You see the central cornea hasn't been thinned out too much. This is more of a hyperopic LASIK treatment. And we know from the past old records for this patient, the patient used to be mildly hyperopic, about a plus one or so in each eye. And then she had monovision LASIK done. So they took her from plus one in both eyes, made the left eye plano, and the right eye made about minus 150 to 175. Now importantly on here, the total corneal power, front and back, is about 1.35 at 153. Okay, so when we do our calculations here for the torque power, here's the torque power. First, we're gonna do the spherical power. This is the ASCRS post-refractive calculator for hyperopic eyes. And you can see all the results turn out to be in this range. So maybe a 23 dot would be a reasonable choice for sharpest distance vision. And remember, it was on the left I didn't have a big treatment. We're aiming for Plano, and the treatment that was done was for about plus one of hyperopia. So not a huge effect on the calculations. Here's the torque calculator. We calculated it out. We changed the axis to what I thought would be a better choice, 153. And we put in the 23 diopter lens. There's the 23 diopter lens, aiming for Plano. Patient, in fact, achieved that. Now let's talk about the other, the right eye. This is the eye that we're setting for near. So let's calculate it out somewhere in the 150 to minus two range for the right eye. That's the near eye. Patient achieved Plano on the first set, so that was easy. Here, taking into account all the other variables and aiming for that minus two goal, here are the lens calculations. Somewhere around, let's say, 22 and a half would be the average eye power. And then we can look at the tomography as well, and you can see there's that astigmatism here, 1.6 at about 35 degrees. We do our calculations here with the torque calculator, and then it says about the same. And we're gonna bring it down just a little bit. I'm gonna aim for somewhere in this range and put a 22 and a half, maybe a 23, we could see on the day of surgery. So interesting case, again, anisometropia, but this is a surgical one. It was planned anisometropia with the prior monovision treatment of mild hyperopia and then doing hyperopic LASIK. Interesting case. I hope you learned something good, thanks.